Hey guys, it is time for another what I eat in a day video and as always I start out with coffee and feeding and letting my cats out. This is just an everyday routine thing and I just do drip coffee with a little bit of white peppermint mocha creamer and then also a little bit of sugar and I usually just start my day out with that and then once I drop my kids off at school is when I will have breakfast and I've been really into these bagels that I get in like the bakery section of my grocery store and they're just like cheese bagels and they're so good but they're humongous so I usually only eat a half of one in the morning and what I do is I just basically toast it and then I take a tomato and I do really really thin slices of tomato and normally I'm not a huge fan of tomato but for some reason I like them on bagels I don't know why um, but then I take Philadelphia whipped cream cheese um, I know that the tofu one is pretty good if you guys want like a like a vegan version I used to eat the tofu and I felt like it tasted pretty realistic and then I just put the tomato slices on there and I do salt and pepper and garlic powder and this is just amazing guys definitely try it I love salt and pepper and garlic powder on my tomatoes it just makes it really good so definitely give this a try I think it's just really satisfying and it just fills me up really well Okay you guys, next up is lunch and we're gonna be making cauliflower buffalo wings and this takes a little bit of work, but it's definitely worth it. You guys trust me. And I do make this when I'm craving buffalo wings and you guys know I don't eat meat, so I make the cauliflower version. So you wanna preheat your oven to 450 degrees and then you're gonna do about three spoonfuls of flour. And I use mild curry powder and I do maybe like a half a tablespoon of that. <laughs> and then I use this vegetable broth powder. I do about the same amount of that and then salt and pepper. And then I put in just a little bit of cornstarch and the cornstarch is going to help the batter get crispy when it cooks. And once you have the um, dry ingredients, you're just going to add milk. And I don't have any like measurements for this you guys I just kind of like add milk until until I get the texture that I want and you want it to be kind of like a thick pancake batter you do not want it to be too thin because if it's too thin it just kind of like runs off of the cauliflower and you want it to really stick to the cauliflower so you have a nice thick coating of the batter so then you just want to take your cauliflower and you want to break it up into small pieces and then you want to get like a cookie sheet of some sort and you want to cover it with tin foil and you want to spray it because if you don't spray it, it is going to stick to the pan and it's just going to ruin everything. So make sure you spray it and then you're just going to dip the cauliflower into the batter and you want to wipe off any excess. But um, yeah, make sure the consistency, like I said, is thick because I've done this before where it's too thin and it just doesn't give a nice coating. So then you're just going to cook it for about 10 to 12 minutes just until it gets like crispy and maybe like light golden brown. And now we're gonna start with the sauce. So you're gonna take Frank's Red Hot. This is literally the best way to make buffalo wing sauce. And then you're gonna take a little bit of butter and then paprika. And like I said, I don't measure, just kind of do what you think. And then I do salt and pepper as well. And then you wanna warm up the sauce so the butter melts and then you just wanna mix it together and that is gonna be your buffalo wing sauce. So once the, um, oh, right here, chunky blue cheese dressing. That's what I dip mine in. You could also use ranch if you want. It's totally up to you. Um, but then once you have those cooked for about 10 to 12 minutes, you are going to flip them over and you're gonna cook them for like another five minutes. You just wanna make sure that these are crispy. So just cook them until they're crispy. And then once they're done, you're going to put the sauce on them and you're gonna mix them all together. Oh, you guys, I have been working on this recipe forever because I've been wanting to make it perfect and I feel like I finally made it perfect. So give this a try. Let me know what you think. It is just amazing. All right, you guys, so I didn't really have a snack today, but I'm just gonna consider this Diet Coke a snack. And I know you other Diet Coke addicts are sitting here swooning and you wanna go get yourself a Diet Coke because it's my vice, I can't help it. <laughs> so next is dinner and we're gonna be doing a one pot pasta. So I just put a little bit of olive oil into a pan and this, uh, what is it called? Light Life sausage. And I used half of the package and you're just gonna put that in the pan and just kind of break it up and cook the sausage. And then I'm gonna cut up some mushrooms and some onion. You could put pretty much any vegetable you want. You could put in like zucchini if you want, um, but this is just what I had on hand. 
and I just cut them up into small pieces. And then you wanna take the sausage out of the pan and you're gonna add a ton of garlic, okay? This is like key. Um, if you're gonna cut up fresh garlic, I would do like four cloves maybe, um, but I just use the like canned kind, I don't know. And then you're just gonna put in the onion and you're gonna stir that and you're gonna cook it a little bit. You don't have to cook it completely because it's a one pot pasta, so it's gonna continue to cook. And then you're gonna do two cups of vegetable broth. I use water and then the vegetable broth powder and you're gonna put that in there. And then you're gonna do a cup and a half of almond milk or coconut milk or regular milk, if that's what you eat, I don't know. Um, and that is gonna be your broth. And then you're gonna stick in the mushrooms and then the noodles. Now for the noodles, you wanna do about a half of a box. You know those like long skinny boxes? I use about half of one box. And then I take cayenne pepper. Now you wanna add as much cayenne pepper as you want. So if you want it really spicy, you wanna add a lot. Um, but trust me, this recipe does not take very much um, because it is spicy. And then you're gonna take oregano and you're gonna do about a tablespoon-ish of oregano and then salt and pepper. Now you're just going to bring this to a boil and once it hits a boil, you're gonna uh, turn it down a little bit so it's like a simmer and you're just gonna let this cook and cook and cook and cook until it starts to get creamy like this. Now if you feel like you need more sauce, just add more milk and just let it cook. And then you're gonna add the um, sausage back in and stir it and then I add a little bit of mozzarella cheese. A lot of times I skip the mozzarella cheese and I don't even put it in, but um, I did this day. And then you wanna turn off the heat and you want the sauce to kind of thicken up a little bit. And when you turn off the heat, it really thickens up and creates like a really creamy, creamy like texture. It's really good, you guys, I'm telling you. And it's vegan if you leave out the uh, cheese. So then I just made this uh, salad. My mom actually got it for me at Costco, so I needed to use it because it was actually going bad. And then that is it, guys. That is the recipe. To, like, seriously, you guys have to try it. It's so good, so creamy. Travis loves it. And that Light Life sausage is really, really, really good. And it tastes so much like regular sausage. So that is it, you guys. That is what I ate that particular day. Like I always say, this is just one day. This is not how I eat every single day, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys try out some of these recipes and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.